Hi everyone, it's Joanna Bodarska, the beauty expert. And since we have the second national lockdown here in the UK and my beauty studio is temporarily closed, I thought I would sit down and film a little get ready with me type of the video. So today I will show you how I am getting ready in the morning when I don't really leave my house, apart from the school run or some grocery shopping now and then. But even if I do not leave my house at all, I still want to look nice and put together and it might not be anything spectacular but it really puts me in a better mood so as you can see I have already showered so I like to have a shower in the morning I leave baths for my Sunday self-care routines and for the evening time uh, so yes I have showered I have washed my hair and I have done my skincare so in regards to my skincare, I will show you what I've used today. So I have washed my face with the Aveda Botanical Kinetics Purifying Gel Cleanser. This is my go-to cleanser. As you can see, I have nearly finished this one, so I will be opening something new really soon. So I have washed my face with this cleanser and then I have used the Clarana Sensitive Toner uh, with a Dipantenol, a Dipantenol Ginseng Extract uh, and Chamomile Extract as well. Uh, I really like this toner because it really soothes my skin, especially now when I'm using my retinols in the evenings because I have loads of new friends growing here since last week because I was wearing my face masks like 16 hours a day so yeah it really irritated this area here so now I have to use some retinols and acid-based treatments to calm down this area so yes this toner really soothes my skin and helps with this irritation on the skin so I have uh, wiped my skin with this toner and then after that I was using my serum and at the moment I am testing the Bielenda CBD a serum booster which is supposed to be hydrating and detoxifying for the skin. I really like this serum as, um, as it has a really light lotion formula. It smells really nice and you need only one pump and you can just distribute it evenly all over your face. It sinks in beautifully um, on, um, into your skin and CBD is supposed to be soothing for the acne problems and for the sensitive skin. So yes, I really like to use um, this serum in the morning. And then after the serum, I am applying my eye cream and my morning moisturizer. So for my eye cream, no surprise here, I will be using my Aveda Tulusara Wedding Mask Eye. It's been designed to use in the evening and overnight, but I like to use it in the morning as well. I just put a little tiny layer of it and just pat it in gently around my eye area. And then I will finish it all off with the um, Aveda to Lusara Renew Morning Cream. Again, a really nice moisturizing and brightening um, uh, cream uh, to use. In the morning so yes I really enjoyed this one and now you will be probably asking me okay but where is your SPF I have it as well so at the moment I am using my SPF in spray and this is the Kate Somerville SPF 50 and uh, why I'm using this one because I stay mainly indoors and uh, it doesn't matter for me basically if I just go outside or I will stay indoors because even if you stay indoors um, your skin can still get that uh, environmental damage from the blue light and I spend loads of time in front of my computer these days so yes I still need Need some protection and I like to use this one because this one I can not only put the layer of protection on my face but I can also set my makeup with it so I will be using it at the end of my morning routine so yes SPF it's still here all right and uh, yes so that will be uh, in regards to my morning skincare and then I will be doing my uh, hair so my hair uh, will take me usually to do my hair it will take me usually like seven eight minutes to blow dry my hair uh, so what I am using uh, to begin with I am using some styling products so uh, I will be using either this NV big hair root volumizer and I will just spray it a few sprays uh, at the roots of my hair or I will be using this Vella Instant Volume Boost Mousse, which I really like, really affordable product. I got mine at Boots, so yes, really easy to get, really affordable, and it really keeps that volume 
for long hours. So I really enjoy using this one. So I will apply the mousse and then I will also apply something to protect my hair against the heat. Uh, so I am uh, currently using this OGX Argan Oil Heat Protect Spray. I quite like it. It's not too heavy for my hair. Uh, so it really nicely protects my hair against the heat and it does the job. So yes, I, I quite like this one. But I have recently got, uh, thank you very much my Monad girls. Do you say Monad or Monad? Monate, uh, please let me know because I might say this, I might say it wrong. So yes, uh, I got them um, this Thermal Protect Styling Shield, a beautiful product. It's like a lotion formula, so you have a little bit of lotion, and smells amazing. You know when you have you when you go to that professional um, beauty studio and they have all those amazing. Um, and this beautiful smells of their products, that's how it smells and the, and the scent stays with you uh, for the long, long hours. Okay, and so I will be applying um, two products. So today, okay, let's leave, let's start with this mousse. So I will take, I will just shake it a little bit and just apply an amount like so. And I will just spread it evenly, focusing on the roots of my hair because that's where I want this volume. So yeah, just like so. Just applying it, not too much, because it's only, you know, for yourself, so you don't need tons of product, and really just to give that volume. Okay, so the mousse is applied, and today let me let me use this uh, Monat Monate uh, Thermal uh, Protecting Styling Shield. So I will take probably like two pumps of it, and just distribute it evenly along the length of my hair, not too much, and then I will be just separating my hair into like three sections. As I told you, I like to take it easy and simple. I will just need a little clip and my hair dryer. And the hair dryer, which I'm using, I'm using since the last three or four years. As you can see, it's been well loved and well used. It's this Bubbly's Pro Styling Tool. A really good, uh, really good uh, hair dryer. And I am just using a simple round brush to do my blow dries. So yeah. I will come back to you once I will finish the blow dry because it will be quite loud with the hair dryer on. So that will be my hair, only blow dried. As you can see, it's quite like volume now, but it will obviously um, go down and settle down slightly uh, after a few minutes. So I will just leave it like so on most of the days. But if I want that volume to hold for a bit longer, I would either use some kind of texturizing spray. Uh, and I have now this Charles Worthington Volume and Bounce te Texturizing Spray. And again, I got it from Boots, quite affordable. It was like six pounds or so. So yes, easy one to get. And then, uh, or I would like to use this Aveda Dry Shampoo. 
this is my by far my favorite favorite dry shampoo you have to get used to, to using it because obviously you have to press this little bottle like so if you press it too much it will get too much product out uh, so yes sometimes i would just put it on the roots of my hair like so and it will help to uh, keep that volume uh, for longer in my hair so yes you just massage it in distribute it evenly um, around the roots of your hair it really really, really absorbs the um, sebum nicely so yes really really nice product i really like this this dry shampoo yeah so i would just add a little bit um, if i want to keep this um, this volume for a bit longer sometimes if i don't want to have those like flicks at the end um, i would just do a little straightening process with them but to be honest on the most of the days i don't really I don't really do anything i would just leave them like so nice and fresh bouncy and yeah ready to go okay and now we will move to my makeup so once the hair is done uh, i am uh, usually doing a little bit of makeup and as i said don't expect anything spectacular here because i don't do a full face makeup on the daily basis so let me just get you a little bit closer Right, so you are quite close now. You can see all my new friends growing <laughs> after the last week, but doesn't matter. We all have them and that's, that's absolutely normal. So uh, when it comes to my makeup on the daily basis, as I said, especially in lockdown, I like to keep it very simple, uh, nothing too extravagant. So I will usually start with my foundation. And uh, to be honest, on the daily basis, I really love this foundation. This is the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation and I have mine in color 53 beige clear so light beige yes so i would either distribute it with my fingers i will take one pump or two sometimes and i would just distribute it either with my fingers on my face sorry i will be looking into the mirror so i can see what i'm doing so yeah i would just distribute a layer of this evenly on my face and sometimes i will either even patted it in with my fingers. I always do a bit of a strokes on my neck and on my ears as well because they tend to get quite red. So I will either, as I said, distribute it with my hands and pat it with my uh, fingers or I will take my little kabuki brush. This is the Tarte Kabuki brush or a little beauty blender sponge so whichever i have on hand usually is the kabuki brush this is my favorite kabuki brush so this uh, foundation gives you a light to medium coverage just to even the skin tone obviously all the like a little dry a little dark uh, spots or little breakouts they will be still visible but it will just make the overall look of your skin more even so yeah i am just distributing it on my face like so down and then i'm using a little bit of the concealer and this is the makeup revolution conceal and define this is my go-to uh, concealer and it's in the shade c7 um, and i will just do two little dots with this one and just distribute it again with a little sponge my fingers or a little uh, concealer brush this is the sigma tapered kabuki brush f86 and i will just gently distribute it around my eye area i also go over my lids a little bit again i don't want a full full coverage just something to, to sort of cover those dark circles a little bit so they are not as prominent, you know, they are a little bit more subtle, like so, just a little bit and you already have this nice bright area and, uh, um, around your eyes. Okay, and then I will be setting my um, 
eye area and my the rest of my face and to set uh, my under eye area I will be using just the tapered blending uh, brush this is Sigma E40 and I will be also using this Max Factor Miracle Veil and this is Radiant Loose Powder, beautiful powder. If you have dry or mature skin it will be great for you all over the face uh, but I have more oily skin so I will be using this only for my around the eye area. Beautiful product. I just take a little bit on the, on the lid and then I will just Put a little bit on my brush, get rid of the excess and just set the under eye area and I will just go over on my over my lids as well just to set this whole area together so yeah it's not gonna move anywhere this concealer it will stay with you for the whole day. Right, so that's done and then I will be setting the rest of my face as well. If you have dry or mature skin then you can just leave it as it is but because I have quite an oily t-zone especially I like to use loose uh, setting powders and my go-to powders these days it's either this golden rose a uh, long wear finishing um, powder and this is yeah the translucent version and then I also have my staple this is the Laura Mercier translucent loose powder so whichever I have on hand I will be just using it and I like to set my face with a little puff this kind of puffs you can get anywhere boots uh, amazon ebay wherever and they just cost pennies so like a nice little puff let's take the golden ro golden rose today i will just take a little bit on my on the lid and i will just get the product on the puff so i am pushing the product into my puff and just then just setting the um, t-zone mainly this is the place where I will be getting oily and shiny quite easily so I will be just setting this part of my face and whatever I have left on my puff I might just go around my neck and on my face as well okay right done and then what I can what can what I can use if I don't have time I will just use my mascara and that's it if I have a little bit more time I will use my bronzer and my go-to everyday bronzer is again golden rose a mineral terra terracotta powder number 04 and I love the finish of this bronzer because it, it has a little bit of a shine to it so I will use either of my br um, blush uh, brushes. I will either use the angle brush or the Zoeva uh, Lux highlighting brush. So whichever I have on hand. Let's use this angle brush from Sephora. I will just apply. I don't even apply all over the um, brush. I will just apply it on the side. Yeah, like so. Get, the, get rid of the axis and just sort of emphasize uh, my cheekbones a little bit just to give that this little bit of dimension into your face but really I'm just doing it like so not too much as you can see there is not much product on my face just a little bit just to emphasize those features you can also do your jawline if you like but I very rarely do so and then if I have time I will just take any uh, blending brush at the moment I have here 227 Lux Soft Definer from Zoeva and I will just take the same a bronzer just dab it into the bronzer powder a bronzing powder and I will maybe just add a little bit of dimension uh, to my lids but only if I feel like it right yes yeah, so you can give, give a, a little bit of dimension and then 
if I feel like my face needs a little bit of life, uh, I will use the blush and the blush which I'm always going for without even thinking if I don't have time to uh, pick the right undertone of the blush and things like this, I will always go for the Sephora blush. Um, this is the blush Shame on You number 01. Beautiful brush, a beautiful blush. It has a very like subtle tone to it and I will just dip again the same uh, brush and just add a little bit of color on my cheeks. Of course you can go with highlighter, you can take it as far as you like to be honest, but I just like to keep it simple. I will just go over my lids as well just to add this color to my lids and that's it. So this will be my face done and then I just need a little bit of mascara and at the moment I am using this uh, Clinique High Impact Mascara. I have just finished my Chanel Volume de Chanel, so this is my second favorite uh, mascara. And uh, if I have time, I will also use the primer underneath my mascara. And this is the Eveline Cosmetics Advanced Volumeer. Uh, it's supposed to be conditioning your lashes as well as working as a primer. To be honest, I am not really seeing uh, that much of the effect of conditioning them. Um, maybe because I'm using my Revital Lash Conditioner on a daily basis, but I definitely like it underneath my mascara because it really add, uh, adds to the length of my uh, lashes. So yes, I will put a coat of my primer and then I will put a coat of the mascara. But you can obviously use the mascara on its own if you like. So yeah, just a little bit of the primer and then mascara as well. What I like about this mascara is that it really gives you this, this black effect straight away so you don't have to really think about spending too much time on coating your lashes with mascara. I usually do only one, uh, one coat of mascara because obviously on the daily basis I don't need more than that. I just want to emphasize my eyes a little bit, but without too much effort. So yeah, I will just do a little bit of this mascara. Uh, and then obviously whatever is left on your wand, you can also emphasize those um, lower lashes a little bit as well. So that will be my uh, mascara. And then I also like to do a little bit of the brow. Uh, so what I like to do, I take my brow pencil. It, this is the Catrice Cosmetics Eyebrow Stylist in the color, let me find it, a 035 Brown Eye Crown. And what I like to do with this, I like to take this little um, brush here and just brush it through and then because I haven't done a tint on them for quite a long time now I just like to sort of define those fronts of my brows like so just a little bit I don't want to define the look just a little bit of this sort of definition. Not to define, but just a little bit of definition. Anyway, you get me, yeah? And then I have a clear uh, brow gel as well. So the two brow gels which I really like, I just got myself the new uh, Benefit 24 hour brow setter because this is this is an amazing product. And I also like this My Secret Wow, wow, wow Eyebrow. Um, this is a translucent uh, gel. As you can see, it's not translucent anymore. This is what happens when you have translucent gel in this kind of packaging. You can see it's getting a little bit, yeah, the color, it's not as, uh, as much pleasing as it was at the beginning. And I will just run it quickly through my brows, what uh, what did this product will do? It will hold them in one place for the whole day. Right, and that will be it. And then um, I, uh, then my lips as well. So for the lips, I really either use a lip balm 
other lip gloss and my two go uh, go to glosses is either this Dior uh, lip maximi maximizer uh, collagen active uh, it's nearly finished so I definitely ne need a new one and I recently discovered this oh my lips uh, lip maximizer from Eveline with chili so this one's supposed to be giving you this like uh, the effect of like sort of hyaluronic acid filler on your lips it definitely makes them more full uh, and it gives you that tingling sensation so you feel this chili uh, on your lips so yeah just um, have this in mind whenever you're using this product uh, this one will give you a little bit of tingling as well but nothing um, compared to this one this one is much stronger so I would just maybe apply a little bit of this Dior lip maximizer um, gloss and that's it basically so that will be my daily uh, morning skin uh, morning routine uh, and then I've mentioned about this SPF so at the end I will just spray my face a little bit with this Kate Somerville SPF 50 so that will give me the uh, protection against the UV rays and then as well it will set my makeup nicely in the place for a bit longer so yes that that will be it that's my morning routine that I have done my hair I have done my makeup and then uh, the only one thing which I could add to it is some perfumes and I like to use my perfumes even if I stay indoors at home uh, all day so my go-to perfumes at the moment it's either this Tory Burch um, don't ask me to read this uh, name of the, of the perfume because um, my French is like no, no. Uh, so uh, I will leave the link uh, to this perfume in the description box below. I will actually uh, link all the products which I was using today so if you would be interested in any of them you can go ahead and check them out. Uh, so yes, this perfume beautiful for the day use. It's not overwhelming, overpowering. It has this beautiful undertones um, into it and yeah beautiful perfumes to use on the daily basis and it stays with you for quite a few good hours and then another one which I like which I want to um, smell a bit stronger like with the with the stronger notes uh, is this uh, Miss Dior um, Eau de Perfume and this is the uh, original version I really love these perfumes as you can see there is not much left here but you don't need much, you just need two spritz maybe and it will be definitely enough and uh, yes it it holds for long long hours I always like to go back to this one from time uh, to time and then my all-time staple which is always with me since last 12 years I would say is this Chanel Coco Mademoiselle I know this is nothing you know this is not a discovery because everyone heard or have this product uh, already but uh, I love this scent it's I know it is not the most unique scent in the world but it's just so easy uh, I can wear it all year long maybe not on the hottest days um, of the summer but other than that you can wear it all year long it's really um, mass pleasing so it's basically I haven't heard uh, from anyone like Oof, this is too strong or this is not my vibe uh, everyone rather likes this um, likes this uh, perfume so yes uh, Coco Chanel uh, Coco Mademoiselle it's my go-to perfume I always have it uh, but uh, the only thing what the only thing which I would like to add um, when talking about these perfumes I remember uh, a few years back I got myself 100 ml bottle and I think that was a mistake because I I always have quite a few bottles of perfumes like 8, 10 so I'm not using the same perfumes every day and then after a while this perfume 
didn't uh, perform as good as it did at the beginning so I thought hmm I think I have it on my vanity for too long uh, so I switched to 50 ml bottles and I would recommend if you have a few uh, perfumes in your collection I would always recommend to go for like smaller sizes so then you are always um, you always have fresh product you know and it will perform as it should uh, be performing so yes definitely smaller bottles are better for me but yeah all right so that will be everything now <laughs> when it comes to my uh, lockdown morning routine and now I am ready for the rest of the day so I think whatever you do in the morning however simple or advanced your morning routine might be I think it can really help to set you in the right mood for the rest of the day and make you more productive efficient and concentrated so please share with me your morning rituals and the things you like to do in the morning in order to get yourself ready for the rest of the day and now I hope you all enjoyed watching this video if you did please give it some thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as I try to upload new videos here regularly and now I am off to do my daily tasks which now mainly consists of answering on your emails on your text messages doing online skincare consultations and also I am preparing Christmas campaign which is the most exciting Thing. okay and now I wish you all a beautiful rest of the day and I will talk to you again very soon bye